We have a wide range of windscreens suitable for many uses. They can be used on the campsite with your caravan, camper or motorhome, trailer tent or tent. They can be used on the beach, whatever you want to use it for. On this occasion, we're using it around this sun canopy. So if you've got the wind coming from that direction, it will deflect the wind for your, your seating area, or it could simply be used to mark out your pitch to keep that your own. This particular windscreen here, but like I say, we have many in the range. So this particular version is with the carbon fiber frame. We have some with steel framework, which are slightly higher. We have some where you can add additional panels to it or a gate. The carbon fiber frame is nice and lightweight, just makes it a bit easier when you're, you're traveling around and easier to set up. All of our windscreens will have this system at the bottom. So you have the spike and the Stabilo plate. And I'll show you now how that supports the windscreen into the ground. So the first thing you need to do is decide where you want your windscreen to, windscreen to go. Make your starting point. So you'll hammer the spike halfway into the ground. And the Stabilo plate is perfect to be used on softer ground. Here we're on a, a very sandy ground. So what that does, you can then peg that plate out. And then what that is doing is just supporting that spike, making it really sturdy. Then we'll get one of your top poles. You see you've just got the rounded edge. This is how we will then determine where your next spike will go. Same again, hammer the spike halfway into the ground. And move on to the next one. We've been using the, the spike and plate system for a very long time now. So although the windscreen comes with the guy ropes, because you've got this system at the bottom, it makes it a lot more rigid. So you don't necessarily have to use the guy ropes, but you have got that option. If it does get a lot windier. So now that you've got the spike system into place, you can start setting up the windscreen. On the two ends, You've got a sleeve for the legs to go into. And that will just simply slide onto the spike. Add the additional legs. This particular windscreen is made out of our acrylic material, which is what we use on our, our traditional awnings. So the material is very hard wearing, keeps its color. Once you've got the majority of the legs in, you've then got your cross poles, your horizontal poles. There's a sleeve for those to slide into and they simply hook over the, the leg poles. If you overlap the fittings here, it makes it a nice tight fit. And the beauty of our windscreens, because you've got the versatility with the poles and the legs, you can shape it however you want. We've done it as a, an angle here, but you could shape it if you didn't have the canopy, you can put it in as many as you want, in any direction that you want.
And as we go on to the last one, slide the horizontal pole in. Put those together. And your final leg. Again, like on your first leg, you've got the sleeve for this one here. Because we've measured it out with the top poles, we know it should be exactly in position. Slide the top pole on. And this is where it's slightly tight, but this is how you want it. You want it nice and tight to make it rigid. Slide the last leg on. Tidy the windscreen up. And like we mentioned, for the windier conditions, you can put guy ropes on. You have got pegging points at the bottom for extra support if you wanted to. But there you have it, nice windbreak, covering your living space, deflecting the wind, marking your territory, perfect for any campsite.